Kings and Queens, your majesties, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for always returning. Trust you and yours are well. And you love yourself and not just like always. Many thanks to all of you for the support you give to the channel. Thank you so much to our channel members, to our anonymous supporters, to all of you, my esteem subscribers, we love celebrated and appreciated. So our government is the middleman that is auctioning us to the multinationals. This is a comment from a sit-down, a studio session by a Kenyan media house, and it caught my attention because the truth is that when you look at the governments of the African countries, all of them, all of them, because you praise one today, tomorrow they are coming to do another thing that will make you ask yourself, but wait, what is really wrong with us? Are we okay? Are we okay? Because this is a question that most of the times I, I ask. You look at the governments, they are the ones that go up there to make decisions while you are not there on behalf of you because it's like they are there to work for you but no our government these days are there to work for themselves and then we are here shouting democracy 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 what is democracy democracy have proved all the years that it's not working for the continent and i don't think if it's going to work what do you think about democracy because these leaders that are elected under this uh, system of democracy are selling the continent every day. They go, they pack them in buses like sardines, like school children. They go sit down and take tea. And some of them sleep off. You don't know what they put in those tea for them because they start sleeping. And then they agree to decisions, sign the papers. And tomorrow you just sit and see that some people have come and take over your house. Because of the kind of government that we have in our various countries on the continent of Africa. It's only the Sahel that is pulling out of this so-called democracy now that are seeing something different. And these people who claim that they are custodian of this democracy are frustrating the Sahel even up until this time. <laughs> I smile because all their effort right now is, 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 is turning to naught. They are, they are getting tired already. Because they use different means, it's not working. These are our Sahel heroes are really dealing with them. And that is the joy that when you look at the continent and then you see, you see the Sahel and the news from the Sahel every day, you are happy and you'll be like, okay, there is hope, things will change. Our health. They control our food. They control our education. And they control our information. They have finished us. We are slaves. Our government is the middleman that is auctioning us to the multinationals. That's what they are doing. But as Kenyans, we must sit back and see what is going on. I learned the other day, Lynn, there is a Kenyan seed bank, organic seed bank in the UNEP. Secret. They've collected all organic seeds here in Kenya. They are in UNEP, the UNEP offices. Top security, no one can go there. It breaks your heart when I learned the other day, even Ketepa is not Kenyan owned. No Ke way. Ketepa is not Kenyan owned. Who owns it? Oh, it's a foreign, it's a Britain company. I, please. I, don't mean I trust no, you. No, 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 but you have, we, you have we, to go and check. We gonna do have a- Go who? and check who Ketepa owns? brand, who owns Ketepa? No way, yes. man. Wait, yes. they are saying the Kenya Tea Development Agency is the majority shareholder. In which company? In which company? I was so shocked to learn, since colonial times, it is not a Kenyan company that even owns Hiya, Kenya property. chill. We go deeper. Kenya is number four in cancer cases. I come from Meru. Meru from Isiolo, Nanyuki, Meru, coming down. is like an outbreak of cancer, like cholera. You know, like... You know the cholera, like shh, everyone is sick. That's cancer in Meru. Throat cancer, esophagus cancer, breast cancer. It's a crisis in Meru. Your Majesties, you know when I was listening to her, she was like, all the seats in Kenya, like my sister, it's not just Kenya. The seats in Africa are taken away. 
and stored in, the, in, their, in their, their storage in Norway. <laughs> I think we've talked about that here. We are finished, but we are not finished. There is hope. Yeah, because I have sat and thought about all these situations that we are in as the African people, how our leaders are not even helping. Just take a look at it. You pro produce 100% of something, but you are not the owner of that thing. Is this not the reason why this whole idea of Korea coming to have uh, refineries here, four of them in the, in, 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 the, in the continent of Africa, in Nigeria? I'm like, I feel something is, is off with this thing. Now some of you are like, it's good, it's, they're coming to the infrastructure and whatever. Why not one? Why are they making four of them? And they tell you it's public-private uh, 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 investment. Tomorrow you hear that it is, it is solely owned by the Korean government. A sovereign nation is owning four major projects in your own country. And we are happy saying it's development. Majority of the things that are in the continent of Africa you think is for the country. Sometimes they're not even the, the, the country's property. The leaders have sold it out of greed. So the foreign bodies are owning more than 50% of the shares. And you that the property is in your own country and majority of that raw material is coming from your country, you are just owning 35%. Where are we heading to? Sometimes we lie to ourselves that yes, it's good, it's going on well. But where are we heading to? This is a question that we need to ask ourselves. Your Majesties, is Kenya supposed to be the fourth um, number four in cancer cases? Why should it be even when they talk about cancer cases? It's not even supposed to go near Africa. I'm not saying it's other people that should have cancer cases. No, that's not what I'm saying. This is a motherland. We are close to the source of everything that gives life. Why should we be suffering from, from, from terminal illnesses like this? Something is off because all the orthodox medicine they sent to you, <laughs> your majesty, I don't want to say something now that YouTube will come and follow me oh, because they like me very well these days now. But this is my people suffering. I, it, I have the right to, to voice out. Recently in Nigeria, uh, we heard that um, Bill Gates has produced another, uh, uh, what do you call it, um, vitamin, like prenatal vitamin, another one that's going to help the baby in the stomach very, very well. So they, are, they have even paid most celebrities in Nigeria, most Nigerian celebrities to propagate that <laughs> prenatal vitamins. And you will go and buy it and pay. Come to think of it though. Your parent that gave birth to you, which prenatal vitamin did they take? Their vitamins were from the, the herbs, their vitamins were from the bush, their vitamins were from the sun. Now, one man somewhere that, that do not even know the composition of your DNA, that you do not have the same DNA with claim that he has produced one something that is going to keep your baby. They are now targeting the womb. They want to target us so that we start producing children that do not have anything in the head. Our government are the ones who are auctioning us out to these multinationals. She is right with what she said, Your Majesties. We are slaves. You think you are free? Melanated. Even you that you run to their country and say, Oh, they tell you there's a job opportunity here in Canada. We're looking for Africans who can come and work here. Do you know that some of the jobs they give to most of you who run there to go and work are jobs that their people <laughs> refuse to do? But they know you will do it because they have put you this whole idea in your brain. They have remolded your brain to make you feel like you can never prosper in the continent of Africa. The continent that gave light to the world. They tell you you cannot prosper in that continent. Come to our place. They give you a reason why you should go. Look at them with scholarship here and there in Africa. 
Have they finished giving scholarship to their own people? They are very poor people in Europe and America. They have not finished giving them scholarship. They are bringing scholarship to you. You do not. You don't sit and ask questions because the religions they brought to you have told you everything that come to you. Accept it. Don't ask any question. This is what they have turned us into fools, slaves. You think slavery is only those times of your maybe four generations ago or five generations ago? Majesties, it's still happening now. We are still slaves. Those of us in the continent are still slaves because thanks to our government. And those who of you who are living in their homeland, you are still slaves because it is you they are using to do all the work. But they make you feel like your own is better. When I heard one pastor, one white pastor was saying, I think I shared that here. I don't know. I can't remember. One white uh, pastor was preaching to many black, black uh, brothers and sisters who are in his church that they should give thanks to the Almighty that they were taken from Africa. That those who are in Africa now are in hell because Africa is hell. And them who are in America are now in heaven. Majority of, of you black people, you believe in that notion that you are in heaven and we are in hell for you. Ah! Are we not still slaves? Because we don't even develop on our own ideologies. Every ideology we have developed on is their ideology. And when we are bringing our own authentic ones, all of you say it's not true. It is devil that is using these people now to talk. It is the evil spirit that has started using Abigail. Now, Abigail is possessed. In short, Abigail is a witch. People have called me a witch. <laughs> Your Majesty is quite unfortunate that we are in this situation. But can we get out of this? Yes. But it depends on us. It depends on how we view things and how we go about the situation we are in. This is what will show whether we are ready to come out of the situation we are in as melanated people or we are okay to die under the situation that we are in. I just feel like having this one-on-one -on -one with you. Let us do a rethink, look at the system, look for a way forward, okay? And uh, increase our beliefs and our hope by also increasing the little work that we do in our little communities wherever we are to help our fellow melanated brothers and sisters. When push comes to show, you only have your brother. No one will, get, will, will, will got your back. Nobody got your back, your majesty. It's only those that look like you at the end of it all. And it is for a fact. Give your thoughts and opinion in the other section, and I'll see you in my next one. Until then, love yourself, love yourself. Stay safe, stay positive, always, your majesty. Bye for now.